I've just pulled up on a little lay-by. Stick around guys and we'll just... That ain't gonna work is it? So, so stick around guys and we'll see what we're gonna... Cars. Good day, guys, welcome back to New Zealand. I've got a day off work, and my plan is this morning to shoot dawn, shoot sunrise, and then head down to the river and get a few shots along the river. I've just pulled up on a little lay-by overlooking the Tuki Tuki River and the Tomato Peak to the background, and it's absolutely stunning. We've got a little bit of low mist in the river bank in the river valley. Uh, so my plan is to get a couple of shots real swift from up here and then I'm going to fly the drone and try and get some aerial shots of the uh, the mist in the valleys. I'm pretty confident we're going to get some nice shots. Uh, beautiful, beautiful morning. Alright guys, see you soon. So guys, just waiting for the light. Now dawn came, dawn produced. Not the greatest colour in the sky I've ever seen, but the glow on the mountainside there, absolutely amazing. You can see behind me now where the dawn light has gone and it's sort of faded into a, just like a mushy brown sort of colour. Not much, uh, not much appeal there. But during dawn, it was glowing red and that, and I'm just quite uh, quite impressed by what I can see at the minute. So, so the plan now, hang fire, 20 minutes. Uh, I don't think anything else is going to happen so much yet. Uh, but 20 minutes from now, it'll be sunrise. And the first light of day, the first sunlight of day hitting the peak there. I'm going to smash that and that's going to be glowing beautifully red again. After that, I'm going to have a coffee, sit down, chill out for half an hour. Have a look through the photographs. And then I'm going to head down to the river, which is just, if you can see behind me, where the, the mist is in the valley. That's where the river is, the Tuki Tuki River. There's not much water in there this time of year. There's, we've had, we're in the middle of a drought. We've not had much rain for the last three, four, five months. And uh, But what it does reveal in the river, this section of the river, it reveals something called Papa Rock, which is really white, solid pieces of rock. I don't, I'm not a geologist. I don't know, I just know that it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, so that's my plan to get some shots uh, of the Piper Rock. Fly the drone again and uh, see what we can get. All right, guys, uh, so while I'm waiting, sit yourselves down, get a cup of tea, and uh, I'll be back shortly. Yesterday, I read a harrowing story that was written by Daniel Machini, MD. I'm not sure if I'm getting his name right, but he's an Italian emergency room doctor. An Italian doctor at the heart of the coronavirus outbreak that has placed the country under lockdown has painted a grim picture of the deadly illness, liking it to a tsunami that has swept us all. He says, I myself watched with some amazement the reorganization of the entire hospital in the past week, when our current enemy was still in the shadows. One after the other, the departments that had been emptied fill up at an impressive pace. The boards with the names of the patients of different colors, depending on the operating unit, are now all red. And instead of surgery, you see the diagnosis, which is always the damned same, bilateral interstitial pneumonia. The doctor urged people not to describe COVID-19 as a bad case of the flu. Now explain to me which flu virus causes such a rapid drama. And while there are still people who boast of not being afraid by ignoring directions 
protesting because their normal routine is temporarily put in crisis. The epidemiological disaster is taking place, he said. Cases are multiplying. We arrive at a rate of 15 to 20 admissions per day, all for the same reason. The results of the swabs now come one after the other, positive, positive, positive. Suddenly, the ER is collapsing. Describing every available ventilator as gold, Machini said the doctors and nurses working at his side are exhausted. Doctors who move beds and transfer patients, who administer therapies instead of nurses. Nurses with tears in their eyes because we can't save everyone and the vital parameters of several patients at the same time reveal an already marked destiny. There are no more shifts, no more hours. Social life is suspended for us. We no longer see our families for fear of infecting them. Some of us have already become infected despite the protocols, he said. Machini noted that some of his colleagues have become infected themselves and then infected their relatives who are already struggling between life and death. So be patient. You can't go to the theater, museums, or the gym. Try to have pity on the myriad of old people you could exterminate, he said. But uh, for extensions, I should. Yeah, but I'll just uh, one thing I, I want to take down If I can, if I can, excuse me, I'm sorry to do this, but I have to do it. People should prepare, so businesses should prepare for much longer than 16 days, because this is important, they need to plan, they need some, some oh, certainty amongst the other well, As I've said, it is a point that we review the decision, not that we lift. We've always been very clear on that. It is a point that we review our border controls not necessarily lift them. So yes, everyone should prepare. That would be wise under the current circumstances. But Duncan, what I also feel I do need to keep reminding people, border restrictions are only one of the measures that we need to take. We would be wrong to assume that that is the only measure and we need to do nothing else. New Zealand will have more cases. Coronavirus precautions will mean a different drill for people receiving parcels from New Zealand Post from today. The signed packages, couriers will knock on the door and step back two metres before confirming just by asking people's names. Drivers will then leave the parcel in a sensible place for the customer to pick up. There are growing calls for the cancellations of the Polyfest Festival due to take place in Auckland this week. Last weekend's Pacifica Festival was called off because of fears the coronavirus could be spread. So far, Polyfest organisers are pushing ahead with the event, saying extra precautions are being taken. But the Auckland Councillor for Monaco, Ephesel Collins, says it would be unwise to go ahead with it. How you are feeling and how the, about the coronavirus issue, has it started impacting your life, your family's life yet? And what do you think will get you through and us through collectively, through what is going to be a bumpy ride? A bumpy ride. Not the end of the world. A bumpy ride. And can someone please, because the Prime Minister failed to explain to me, ring me and explain why if you fly here from the Pacific Islands, you don't face the same self-isolation restriction that everyone else from everywhere, everywhere else in the world does. I might be a bit of an armchair critic. I have a thought on the self-isolation if I yeah. had put that forward. Um, with the uh, aeroplanes coming in and stuff, why don't we use a uh, very underutilised um, resource that we have here and get these planes to come into, like, Benoapoi or Arkia and get our military to look after them for 14 days? Yeah, yeah. the other reason that we might not do that yep. is this is all about preserving capacity to cope when the brown stuff really hits the whirly thing. Yeah, so what you do is, you, is yeah. it's like a military thing, you keep your reserves in reserve because when you are going to need them, you're really... Guys, this is the this is the shot I'm working on. I'm just down at the river, down at the river now. This is the Tucky Tucky River near Havelock North in New Zealand. Beautiful place. All these white rocks in the water that you can see. This is the Papa. They call it Papa Rock. I'm not entirely sure why. It's just it's like a clay sort of formation. It's it's absolutely stunning. When the river's in full flood or full flow, a lot of these rocks are underwater, obviously, and. Uh, from my time doing a bit of fishing, trout fishing down here, I can assure you when you stand on one of these in the water, man, it's like standing on bloody ice. It's, it's just incredibly slippy. 
I've got a few little uh, rocks leading out towards Red Bridge, which is just on the horizon there. Beautiful, uh, beautiful shot. I've got some darker or some papa rock that's in shade leading out to a, a clump of papa rock that's got a little bit of sunlight on it, early morning sunlight, and uh, that's working quite nice, stretching out towards Red Bridge. That's it. I reckon that's going to be about it for today. Uh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting, I'm getting in desperate need of a coffee. The light's starting to get a little bit harsh now, so I'm going to probably have five or ten minutes just flying the drone up and down the river here. And uh, I want to check out some spots for fishing because I am starting to itch. I want to do some fishing. I'm desperate. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But we're about to go into the flu season and people yeah. catch the flu in the winter anyway, normally. Yeah. And one piece of advice that I've seen or one thought I've seen some. So, guys, that's my morning finished. It's now 9 15, almost 10 o'clock. My morning's finished. Up at 5 up at 5 a.m. Out, get into position, and to be honest with you. What a stunning, stunning way to start anybody's day. It's absolutely, forget about your coronavirus, forget about all your self isolation I'm self isolated in this thing, right? Me, my van, my cameras, end of. I've got plenty of water on board. <sighs> what can you do? Vitamin C, pump some vitamin C into you. Crack on. And then obviously you call it Redbridge Cafe for a coffee. Uh, and just obviously try not to let anybody breathe on you or cough on you or sneeze on you. Other than that, you know, stay safe. So guys, for now, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give us the old uh, obligatory like, subscribe, share it around with your mates. There's nothing on telly, you know, there's no sport on. You can't get out to sport because you're kind of isolated. So listen, what, what better things to do with your time than, what better thing, Christ, get into that gear, Paul. Come on. So guys, what better thing to do with your time than uh, subscribe to my channel and go through my back catalogue while you're all in self-isolation. There's about 100 odd videos on there. Granted, it's all me rambling on, but you know, what can you do? No sport, go for it. All right, guys, anyway, listen, uh, on a serious note, crazy times we're living in. Uh, we'll all get through it. Might have a bit of a uh, few few bumps along the way but we'll all, uh, we'll all come out the other side we'll all come out smiling so uh, stay positive stay well stay hydrated stay pumped up with vitamin C stay away from people stay away from people with bugs all right guys good luck all the best from New Zealand khaki town on Woo! Jeez,